Hello everybody, my name is Carol Vaya and welcome to a Soul Mask video. Today we're going to be looking into your starter masks, which one does what and what is the best one to pick. So when you create a character and you're happy with it, you go to the next tab when you're in this and you'll be shown a cinematic that will advance you on to the next stage. And it will take you to this screen here where you're presented with three masks, Civilization, Conquest and Rich. Now these masks are not just for looks as you might believe, they actually have different abilities and that is the most important thing you'll be wanting to look into. To give you an extremely brief idea on what these masks do, this one is your HP healer mask, this one is your damage mask, and this one is your archery mask. However, I'll be going over the perks on them so you get to know what is important about these and going over some other things as well in game afterwards. Do note this common overclock perk is common on all of these. There is not a different one, so we're only looking at this lot here. We're going to be starting off with this one, the Civilization Mask, our Healer Mask, and our first perk we're looking at is Stamina Surge. This one is really straightforward as your max stamina is plus 5, your max load is plus 10, that is your weight in the game for carrying stuff, very simple start. Deep sleep might be a little bit more confusing though because this one ups your morale recovery speed by plus 50%. Now what is morale recovery? Well basically on your character you're going to have morale and sometimes you do need to sleep in the game and rest to up it back up again otherwise you get slow and lose stamina and stuff like that it's not too good. So pretty much all it does is make you recover faster when you go to sleep. Our next one is critical barrier this one's also pretty straightforward damage to the head is minus 10% meaning if things hit you in the head like projectiles or other stuff like that you'll take less damage. We also have this one here, Outer Armor, repair it to stimulate the body through some unknown means which hardens the skin, reducing the body's damage taken by 5%, which doesn't sound like a lot, but is really handy. What it means by repair it, by the way, we'll go over a little later. This next perk ups your defense by plus 10, and the last one, your mimicry mode, aka like your special mode, is when you trigger this in an emergency rescue when receiving high frequency attacks, the higher frequency the more HP is restored. So you have like a vampire mode on that one where you get some HP back from that. When the ability is activated, the mask releases microscopic repair units to slowly fix the body by recovering HP by 5 every second. To release it, at the moment it is toggled to V, so that's how you would do it. And that's pretty much that mask. You can colour it however you like with these picker colours here, and then continue on to the next. Our next one is Conquest, which is our damage mask, and we'll start here with Falling Buffer. So, you take 10% less fall damage, really straightforward on that one. With the noise thing, absorbs the vibration energy generated when walking, noise minus 10%. Basically, this is like a stealth mode in this game where you can be sneaky and sneak up to targets and hit them in the back. This is pretty much what this does. It also makes it less alert when you go around wild creatures. They're less likely to turn around and get angry at you. Our next one we have Forbidden Territory. So this awareness XP game from killing humanoid creatures is 5% more. Awareness XP is extremely important because this is what allows you to unlock knowledge further in the game. It's kind of like an engrams list, like you would get an arc or a knowledge list that you get in Conan that allows you to learn different things like different crafting benches, different recipes, etc. This next one is Light Disturbance. Impairs the target's vision using disturbing light concealment plus 10%. Again, this is another stealthy one. And then we have hidden assault. When attacking the target from behind, damage dealt is plus 10%. So again, that sneaky thing again, doing some more damage with those sneaky attacks. And for our special mimicry mode, you can see each attack grants a 1.5% lifesteal effect in mimicry mode. When launching attacks against key parts of the creature, it has a 20% chance to quickly reduce the target's resilience. This is handy because when you do this, you have a window to do more damage. Moving over to the Rich Mask, which is probably one of the ones that a lot of people tend to favour because of the style of it and the whole feathers around with it. Starting with Data Analysis, basically what this one does is when you're scanning, you can scan in this game, it, give you, it gives you like a meter above the target's head, so it would say 
this uh, human is five meters away or this cow is 30 meters away just to give you an example it basically that's what it does it tells you how many meters away the target is from you next one is projectile adjustment with this one arrow precision is plus 10 percent pretty straightforward on that this one's pretty neat draft an album of prey awareness xp from killing non-human noids is plus five percent so basically if you kill more like creatures on this one instead of humans then you will gain more xp than you would with any other mask this one's quite neat when you unlock poison for your arrows if you're using bow and arrow in the game it gives you an ability that you can deal 30 percent higher damage to creatures with a poison arrow which is huge and then you have highly focused during work or combat stamina cost minus five percent and for its special mode amplifies the power of bow and arrow in the mimicry mode damage dealt by bows is plus 15 percent you can analyze the target's weak spot and gain a higher chance to hit his weak spots when attacking with crit plus five percent so as you can see very much an archery type mask now you kind of know the basics about them let's have a look at them in game and how they're actually going to look when you advance them up to the main thing coming into my gameplay world here you can unlock something called a decor table later in the game basically what this does is allow you to decorate your mask so for civilization you get to decorate it with designs such as this so if you like this look this is what you are given for conquest you get a design like this you can color all these feathers by the way however you like as long as you got the dye for it that is completely possible and then for this one we have this which i have colored blue because this is what i started out with this the rich mask looks really nice the feathering on this one i must admit but at the time i didn't realize that there were statistics behind the mask do remember later in game you're not only stuck with these free masks you can actually have different masks in the game that you can unlock and interchange different masks as well each of the masks have different abilities and also you will see i have like a saber tooth one on right now you can skin your masks as well with boss type designs if the if you kill bosses so this is the saber tooth one this is for the frog boss etc and also later in game you're going to unlock something like this which allows you to upgrade and change out your masks so it takes you to this menu where you get to see masks and what you have unlocked so on this character i've unlocked a few things you're going to see these highlighted down here you actually don't start out with everything you actually do need to unlock some of these slots and you only can start out with a few things you can also insert special damage slots into them as well to give them different effects with this as well you can also change masks but you will need to find the masks out in the wild first to be able to unlock them as you're going to see here unlock requirements it takes an actual civilization mask to unlock it and it's the same with all these other ones that you can get out in the game for that you'll be looking to go over here and you'll be going to the ancient ruins guardian plunderer leader because this one can drop any of the free starting masks so if you want to change all you need to do is that plunderer however you're going to need at least bronze armor to do it and maybe a few people to help you out on the way but yeah that is pretty much the deal with these masks it is very important in the game because again you're going to be playing as the mask not as your player your mask is the main character basically in all of this and you can interchange them how you like you'll also be able to level them up as well which will also help if you're interested in the other masks you can unlock out in the world as well they also will show you kind of things that they do and different abilities to quickly go over them this is like a healing stamina mask this is another archery type mask this is a defense mask this is like a summoner mask this is a stamina mask if i remember right yeah stamina and block so sword and shield and stamina this one is a stealth mask and this one honestly is like a jack of all trades type mask but its main thing in the end when it comes to the mimicry mode is you can resist lots of weather types and radiation you're gonna see in the craft tab of this as well when it comes to these masks when you find them out in the wild and they're broken 
you'll have to repair them with certain modules and you make these with different resources out in the world so it can be pretty crazy like that but apart from that that's pretty much all you need to know about the masks and don't worry if you do pick one and you don't like it that much you will be able to change it after all you just need to give it a bit of time and do the plunderous ruin and then you can switch out to the ones you want and level them up how you like i hope this video has been helpful either way to help you pick a mask though and choose what you like if it did give the video a like and subscribe for way more guides on soul mask coming out soon but either way thank you for watching i love you and i'll see you in the next one Bye bye